Hey there, Ventex here. Welcome back to another live stream. Today we are checking out Chef Life, a restaurant simulator. I spoke about this game on my last stream, but it's a pretty cool chef cooking simulator game where you are the head chef of your own restaurant and your goal is to try to make it a Michelin star restaurant. And you can come up with recipes, make your own menu. Uh, there's a lot of mini games for the cooking when it comes to the dishes that you can have, a bunch of different dishes. Uh, you can customize the dining room and the kitchen area. You can order supplies and just a whole bunch of stuff. So let's go ahead and get into it. What's up, Suki? Hey, Emily. What's up, Hydro? Hey, KB. All right, so let's go to play. So I started my own off stream before I decided to stream it. So I'm just going to delete that. We're just going to do a fresh save. But I got familiar with some of the mechanics and everything. And so that way things will go a little bit smoother. All right, let's get into it. Seems like a long intro. All right, so a couple of customization options, nothing too crazy, not very extensive, kind of generic, but it's something. So let's go ahead and make a person real quick just to get through it. Go ahead and give a beard that goes down here. Black. Uh, eyebrows. Eye color. You got freckles, makeup. And then you can customize your top as well. Just a few options. Nothing crazy. Change the color of it if you like to. We go classic white chef coat, perhaps. And you can give yourself an apron if you like. Yeah. There's more customizations as you play the game. You level up and you get to get more unlocks. Uh, but this will be fine for now. Chef hat. You have a chef hat, sure. Uh, hat color, black. You can get tattoos for whatever reason. And you can also have a logo on the back or the front of your shirt. So it'll look like that. But the logo doesn't have that many colors. Only four colors for the logo. Maybe there's more later on. We'll just go like that for now. And Ventex him and okay right so there is free DLC right now once you get the game for this Bon Appetit which has a few Italian dishes and this outfit here but it's nothing you have to pay for so you can move freely inside your own restaurant. I might turn down the sensitivity a little bit. Controls. Here we go. There we are. So here it is, a little bar area. We have our dining tables, our kitchen back there. Uh, and here's going to be our office, but it's locked for right now until we can unlock it. And right here you can change your character, what he looks like. 
or he or she, whatever you get those options. It's not too bad of a kitchen to start off with. We only have one stove though. This is where we'll store all of our ingredients. We got one stove, we got our collection of pot and pans, spice rack, a recipe book. Uh, over here we have our sink and our cutting boards. And back here will be storage. And we have a dishwasher station over here. So let's go ahead and talk to our associate, Kasim. Look at you, your new uniform fits perfectly. It's as if it were made for you. As for the kitchen, I installed all the workstations, everything is up and running. Which means it's time to get back to cooking. We only have three days until the grand opening. Oh, and I left you a little gift to help you get back up and running. Hope you like it. Okay, so we have our recipe book right here. All the, all the recipes you have learned are shown here along with the steps to make them. Select beef and potatoes to open the page for this particular recipe. This page shows all the ingredients needed as well as all the workstations required to complete the recipe. The recipe is divided into steps. Follow them in the correct order to learn how to cook the dish. So we need potatoes for french fries, fryer to make them cooked french fries. We got shallots that we're going to chop up. We got a side of beef that we're going to use the wood chopping block to get a slab of that. Uh, you can pin the recipe to get helpful reminders when working in the kitchen. Okay. So we're going to cook the meat and the shallots together. And that's at the start, it says. Remember to flip the food and then we have to plate it. Okay. Pretty easy. Let's go ahead and pin this. And there's going to be up here at the top, I believe. Either here or here. Top left or top right. Uh, let's quit out. There it is, top right. Do you remember that recipe? It was the first one we learned in culinary school. I thought it would be a perfect dish to open your new kitchen. I stocked the shelves with all the ingredients we need so you can get started right away. Alright. So he stocked our shelves. It's about the recipe book. You can start by looking at the list of ingredients you need. I got it. So we're going to come over here, pick up our ingredients, and then we need a slab of the meat. We're going to come to this prep board, the cutting board. You are at a workstation. The stations are where you perform all different uh, steps for the recipes. This is the wooden chopping block. You can uh, use it to prepare larger and heavier ingredients. With the top bar, you can choose how to prep. For now, you only have one way to prepare this. So there will be multiple ways to prepare different meat or fish or whatever. Uh, when you're ready, start cutting. Okay, gotcha. Okay, get a nice slab of beef on there. Let's go ahead and pick that up. And now we're going to cut our potato and our shallots. All right, take those. And now we need a frying pan. And we're going to put it here and we're going to cooking range. When you're at a workstation, you can access all the recipes you have unlocked for now. You can only prepare cooked steak. To start cooking, make sure to put all the ingredients you need for the recipe in your inventory. Place ingredients down one by one or use place all to put them down all at once. Once all the ingredients are ready, you can start. Okay, sounds easy. So we're just going to place all. Oh. Or we could do it like that. That's fine too. Press F to start. Okay, so I can increase the strength, but uh, while cooking on the range, various actions can be performed while uh, depending on the recipe. With heat strength, you can slow down or speed up the cooking so you can adjust to suit your needs. Use turn on to stop the current station. So I could turn on right here. I could turn it off. Uh, be careful, food left too long on the turn off range will be ruined. So, while increasing the strength does make it cook faster, sometimes it'll make it less quality because some things can't be cooked at a high heat. Some things need to be at a lower heat. Like the balsamic vinegar that we'll get to later. What's up, Jaycos? Appreciate it. So we're going to flip our meat. You can check the level of doneness on each side of the food here. So right here you can see nice grill marks, so we're going to need to flip it to get to that other side. So let's flip it. Okay, 
And then once we get going, we'll be able to walk away from this and do other stuff while this is cooking. All right, we got our steak and our shallots. Now we're going to cook the french fries. All right, let's tab out. Fryer, we're going to turn on the fryer, which is something that we'll need to do at the beginning whenever we start opening. What's up, Amber? That way it can get ready. Otherwise, you're just going to be sitting here waiting for it to heat up. Put the fries down. See, I can walk around while it's cooking and do other stuff. I can take this, for instance. Oh, never mind. Soon I'll be able to take that and wash it or something. Waiting for my fries. The cool thing is, is that once you learn a recipe, you actually have to cook it before you can start serving it. And the more you cook it, the higher quality it becomes because you get good at cooking it. All right, so let's plate it. So our steak and our fries start plating. All right. So we got three star for our ingredient quality and an A for our technical execution. Uh, the technical ex execution grade, it represents how well the dish was executed. Follow each step of a recipe exactly to achieve the best possible grade. For example, flip the meat so that it's cooked on both sides to improve your technical execution grade. This grade represents the quality of the ingredients used, rated from one to four stars. Produce quality depends on the supplier it was bought from. All right, let's go ahead and take that. And now I can talk to Kasim again. Seems you're already getting the hang of working in the kitchen again, but I think the recipe is missing a little something. I added some notes to the recipe book. Take a look. All right, what did he add? So the recipe book has been updated. You can now find cooking tips, respecting cooking times, and adding ingredients at the right cooking phases. Adding the correct spices, performing chef actions, so all that will affect our grading criteria. Improve your cooking skills. So now it's telling us to put the shallots in on this phase, the first phase, not in the starting phase. And then we're going to salt and pepper and still flip it. So now we're cooking with spices. Scroll down. So here you can see. Bonus possible. Perfectly seasoned. Okay, I have to get that later. So let's get the dirty pan. So we're going to clean it at the sink. Let's wash it off. All right, let's place this back down. Now we need to cut the chopped shallots and the beef steak. So let's get our ingredients again. Put the side of beef and chop. Good. And then our potato and shallots. And get to cutting. Take those. Don't forget to grab the spices before you start cooking. This will save you from running back and forth. Alright, so we're going to go to our spice rack. Let's get our salt and pepper. Alright, here we go. Now we have to cook a perfect steak with shallots. Oh, let me go previous. So there's the start, the first phase, and the second phase. Every ingredient cooks at its own pace. The recipe shows at which phase each ingredient should be added. So first we just have the regular steak, and then in first phase we throw down the shallots. All ingredients shown at this uh, the start, S, phase are required to start cooking. The remaining ingredients should be added during their respective cooking phase to achieve a better technical grade. You can enable recipe reminders option and preferences to have these indicators visible when using the range. Okay, so slap the steak down and we're going to put it in the pan. So we're gonna wait for this first phase or the starting phase to go and then we're gonna throw down the shallots in the first phase. There we are. Try to get a nice sear on one side. There it goes. But we can wait until it gets past the first phase. Here in a second, we need to season. All right, I'm gonna flip it. All 
Now we should be seasoning, so it's time to add season to your dish or spices to your dish. Open your spice inventory with season. The spices you have used so far are shown here. Each dose added contributes to seasoning dish. Today, uh, start by adding a pinch of each spice indicated in the recipe. This will guarantee the dish will taste nice. All right, so here we go. We're gonna throw a salt. Well, actually, let's do our, our chef sense. So we press one again whenever we're in this season mode. We can see the chef sense. So it says we need a lot of salt and a lot of pepper. So now I'm missing still a lot. So I'm gonna do another salt and pepper. Once the dish has been seasoned, you can use your chef sense to find the right balance of flavors. Follow the direction to season the dish properly. If there's only a little bit of spice missing, add a single dose. Be careful, a dose of seasoning added to a meal can't be removed. Adjust the seasoning until you hit the perfect balance. Finding the perfect balance takes time, but will be appreciated by your customers. So let's use our chef sense. So we need a little bit more salt and more pepper. And now we can see we don't have enough pepper. Let's try one more. Perfect. All right, so we can tab out of our seasoning. And now it's getting a nice sear on the other side. We could increase the strength, but we don't need to. We could just hang out. And done. All right, take the steak with shallots. All right, prepare what you need. So all I need is the fries. We'll get those done, and then we'll have to plate it. Prepare what you need and assemble the dish steak with shallots and homemade french fries. So the one we made earlier, now you can see the temperature gauge down there in the bottom left is super cold. So we're just making another one for the tutorial, just to get comfortable with the recipe. This is something we're going to be serving a lot at the beginning of our restaurant, so we get more recipes. Alright, take the fries, let's go start plating. Now the cool thing about plating is about to come up, and you can actually customize your own plating when it comes to these dishes. So here's the basic one, but here we can press R to redo the plating. So the food you cook should be arranged on the plate in an appetizing way. Customize the dish to your liking. You can change the look of your plating from the dish uh, from this plating screen. Got it. So I'm gonna hold R. So here's a plating editor. So the first step, plating is done in a series of steps. To confirm a step, use next step and go on to the next step. First start by choosing a plate. You can also place mini dishes, which add extra volume to the plating and can hold sauces. Then place the dish components to create your plating. A minimum quality of each component is required before you can proceed to the next step. The final step is to add decorative touches and add your creativity to your dish. So I can go down here, for instance, I have a few options. There's some other options here, but those will be unlocked as I progress in the game. Right now we're just going to go with this black plate, I believe. Okay, so I can add a little sauce cup. Let's see. It says it's all X's on there, I wonder why. Maybe this is the type of dish we're using. Let me go with this one, maybe? Hmm. Maybe there's no, uh, no sauces. Let's go straight for the meal. So the cool thing is we can have the meat like this or we can display it in a variety of different ways. Oh yeah, see, look, maybe it's the sides. Let's go back to our plates and see what other options we have. There we go, that'd be better. So the plate I was using was more like a bowl, I guess. So it's not as great. Let's use the actual plate. Now I can use the, the uh, sauce. So I can put it like right here, for instance. I can rotate it if I want to. Let me put it like right there, perhaps. Now let's go on to the next step. Let's get our meat. go ahead and put it probably like this maybe off to the side a little bit we gotta make room for the fries and the shallots okay let's go to our potatoes so you can change kind of how you want it to look which is pretty awesome I could put the fries let me see is there a good way to put it I might move this white dish, perhaps. 
Let me go back to the white dish. I can press tab and go back to the other step. Uh-oh. And press R to remove it. Let me put this guy right here. And then I'm going to go back to... Oh, did I not place it? There we are. I'm going to go back to the meat. Chop it up. Put it right here. And then the potatoes. Let me get those fries. Like so. And then my shallots. Let's put a cluster of them. Maybe just over here off to the side of the meat. Just like that. And then we have our sauce. I'm going to pour it into this little dish here. Perfect. And I'm going to say next step. Uh-oh. What am I doing? I think I got everything. Am I missing something? Oh, I don't have enough potatoes. More. More fries, please. There, I'll just put it, pile them up. Now I can go to the next step. And I can just decorate a little bit if I want to. And put this nice bright red just right under the meat. And I can put like a sprig of leaves on there if I want to. And I'm sure there will be more unlocks, but for right now that's fine. Uh, save plating. So you can create multiple plating layouts for the same dish. This is where you choose which one to choose for your service or use for your services. Feel free to take a photo of your dish. Got it. So this is the one I just made. This is the original. So I'm going to go ahead and use this plating. So now down there at the bottom it says used in the restaurant and I can tab out. And now that will be what is served whenever I make the steak and the potatoes and the shallots. And if I want to redo the plating, I can always go back into it. Well, that's fine for now. All right, now we got to talk to Kasim again. You're done with the dish. It smells amazing. You obviously haven't lost your cooking skills. What do you think? Are you happy with it? Or would you rather keep working on the recipe? I'm a, I'm happy. Let's get going. Let's progress. Great, I must say it's fantastic to see you working in the kitchen again. It's getting late though. We should go home. We have a big day tomorrow. Okay, someone wants to talk to you. Talk to your associate, Kasim. The dining room is ready. I've set all the, uh, set up all the furniture, and since our grand opening is in two days, it's the perfect time to brush up on the basics before the big day. Hello, anybody here? So you're the ones opening the new restaurant. I'm Max. Welcome to our city. We'll see each other a lot, I'm sure. I do the deliveries for all the produce suppliers around here. I also take the order, so you'll we'll be talking often, too. I'm looking forward to it. But before I go, I've got some leftover stock from a previous delivery, so I thought I'd just leave it with you. But not a word to my boss, okay? Consider it a gift. I'll leave you my number. Good luck with everything. I'll see you around. Wait, the delivery girl gave us free produce? That's amazing. We'll have to thank her somehow. Take a look at the research table. See if those ingredients can be used in any recipes. So we have a new contact, Max. So she's our delivery. Here's the research table. Use a research table to learn new recipes. By spending KP knowledge points, you can unlock brand new recipes. These points are earned every time you cook a dish. Keep in mind that the higher the grade you receive for the dishes, the more knowledge points you earn. Uh, the recipes are categorized by level from basic meals to sophisticated dishes. The more sophisticated recipes will become available as you level up. They are more complicated to make, but allow you to earn more money. Upgrading recipes, the recipes you already own can also be developed into higher level dishes. If you prepare a dish enough times, you can unlock the ability to improve its level. Use the recipe book to unlock it. Alright, so we're going to unlock the Capri's and Basil salad. So we have new ingredients that are open to us, and we have a new cookware, which is the pot. And we're also going to unlock the Soul 
Muner and green beans. I think that's how you say it. Basically fish and green beans. There we go. We got another pot. All right, we have to pin those recipes. So let's go to our recipe book and pin the capris. Oh. And then I also have to pin the sole munier. Okay, so make your brand new dish. So we're gonna start with the caprese and basil. So what I'll need is some mozzarella and some balsamic vinegar and some sugar. And I'll need a tomato and tomato and basil. So that's it for the salad. I'm gonna come over here to the chopping board and chop up our tomato and our mozzarella. And mozzarella. Perfect. Now I need to make my basil and my balsamic vinegar sauce, I guess. So we're gonna grab a saucepan, throw it down. Let me make sure I got my spices. Salt and pepper. Okay, and let's go ahead and put down our balsamic vinegar here and our sugar here, and we're going to start. All right, so here the stir meter is going up, and if you don't stir it, some foods will stick to the pan. Make sure to stir occasionally so that doesn't happen. So let me go ahead and stir, and then let me show you something when it comes to the balsamic. balsamic. So right here, if we look at the recipe book, or crazy, it says here that uh, avoid high heat for the vinegar. So that's why I keep it on medium. If you put on high heat, it will ruin the quality of the balsamic. Okay, let me give it another stir. All right, while this is happening, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the ingredients for the fish recipe. So I need flour. Can I not take it? Oh, I got it. I'm getting a lot, okay. Let me give it another stir. What's up, Dwoski? Alright, let me get that fish out. And we're gonna go ahead and slice it up. Perfect. Alright. Okay, I got my balsamic, so I'm gonna mix up everything for the salad. So tomato, oh, wait, it's not doing it. There it is. Tomatoes, mozzarella, and balsamic, balsamic cream. Okay, we're going to plate it. And then drizzle that vinegar on there. Excellent. So now we can go ahead and serve that. Perfect. Looking good. Let me go ahead and redo the plating on this one. I don't know why I like the black plate. I think it looks sleek. I don't need any sauce pans for this one, so I'm just gonna go. So here we got our tomatoes. I could do little tomato slices, but there's also some bigger options too. So I'm gonna do one of these. I'm gonna do one here. I'm gonna do this big guy. Can I do that? No, that's too much. I could do one of these, like here. Okay. And let me pour the vinegar. Let me rotate the plates. I'm gonna pull the vinegar right here between both of them. Just cover them. Just like so. I'm gonna put a sprig leaf or a little basil leaf right here. 
And then I can rotate it. Nope. I'm at the max, I guess. I can only do one. I can do a couple of the little ones. Or I can just do one big one. No. It falls weird. Sometimes. There we go. That looks pretty nice. Let's have it all there on the side. You like the pinwheel design? This one right here. We can do the pinwheel. We can actually get like three of them on there. We rotate. Or maybe we'll have it going inside. Have you finished Sons of the Forest? No. No, I just wanted to check this game out. I was talking about it the other day. A lot of people seemed interested. In a chef simulator. But no, I haven't finished. I'm still going to be doing a lot of Sons of the Forest. Maybe a little bit more. That works. And then we can put the vinegar just in the middle. And then maybe the leaf right here in between all of it. Like that. Okay, and then tab. Oh, don't tab. F, next step. And we can decorate it a little bit if we want to. We add a little bit of color, maybe a little bit more red. Put it on this side. We rotate. And then maybe down here as well. Like so. Cool. I think that's good. We can just go with that. Save plating. And let's use it. Alright, so that's one dish. Now let's finish that fish. So for the fish, now that we cut it up, we have to go ahead and put the flour on it. So fish and flour. Let's go ahead and get it all in there. Take that. We have to make the green beans. So I'm going to take this pot here. I'm going to go ahead and rinse it off. You don't need to rinse it off too if you don't want to. You just put it off to the side. Like you would do in another, like a regular kitchen. Let's grab that pot. I do need water for the pot so we can make our green beans. Throw it on here. Cooking range. We can go ahead and get the water started to a boil. Should have salt and pepper. Okay, good. Good to go there. So right here, you can see the pot is boiling. And then once it gets to the top, you'll see all the bubbles. So we could just throw the green beans in. Oh, speaking of green beans, so it would help if I had some. There we go. Okay, water boiling. Let's go ahead and throw it in. Let's go ahead and season it. I need a lot of salt. Not enough salt. How's that? Perfect amount of salt. Good. Alright. So we don't have to really do anything else with the green beans. What I can do while I wait, for instance, while that's cooking, is I can just wash up this dish if we were actually serving people outside. I can put it back over here. Let me get my pan ready. Put that right there. Come on. Maybe I should increase the temperature a little bit. Almost done. 
All right. So I'm going to turn off. I'm going to take a green bean. I'm going to take the pot. Nope. Take the pot. F. Put it down here. All right. Pan. Let's get some fish cooking. Some foods cook better if the cookware or cooking medium is already hot. They are listed in the recipe book uh, as preheated in boiling water. To preheat cookware, place on the range and turn on the heat. An indicator will pop up when it's hot enough. Okay, so fish, butter, and we're going to go ahead and start. And then once it progresses past this start, I'm going to throw in the butter. What's up, Hayrill? Butter. All right, let's turn up the heat so it can go faster. That way my green beans don't get too cold. Not that it matters, we're not serving it. I don't have to season the fish. It's already drowning in butter. What I have to do is not let it burn. So let's customize it. Now you can talk to Kasim. I finished setting up the storeroom. We can order our produce starting tomorrow. With all what you did with those two new dishes, they look delicious. Do you want to keep working on them or do you want to try something else? Let's move on. It's great to see you so enthusiastic. By the way, I invited Max, the delivery girl, to eat here tomorrow night. It's a chance for us to thank her for the extra produce and we can have a practice service. You in the kitchen, me in the dining room. I think we've done all we can for today. We deserve a rest. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh oh 
Okay, here we go. Our dining tables are set up nicely. We got bread on the table. Lots of wine glasses on the table. There's our menu, not yet made. Storage room. Alright, Kasim wants to talk to me again. I just installed the blackboard. Doesn't it look great? That's where we'll write down the dishes and our customers can order. So, what's on the menu for tonight? Come and find me in the store once you've decided. Alright, so let's make our menu. Pretty much it's just going to consist... You can't have any less than three dishes, and all we know is three dishes, so it's going to be those three dishes. Got it. Alright. Fish. Steak. Caprese. Caprese. Welcome to the storeroom. This is where you place orders for produce and ingredients. Everything stays in the fridges here until we place them on the kitchen shelves. I'll let you take a look around, but don't forget to put in an order. We can't cook without ingredients. Yeah, we'll get some more people coming in eventually. We haven't even opened what yet. Alright, so this is a market. You can order fresh produce from suppliers here. Each tile represents a different supplier. Look at what they offer and add the produce you want to your cart. You can check the ingredients you need for the evening service here. So I need four vegetable, three meat, two fish, and three grain, I guess. Uh, your needs will vary depending on what dishes are on the menu. Make sure you have all the produce you need in your cart before placing your order. So right here you can see we can order the cheap stuff here, which is going to be basic quality international, and it's two per unit. And if we scroll down, we can order all the way up on this basic to the local, which is going to be four per unit. So it's twice the price, but it's a better origin. So there's better ingredients. And then these are all just basic quality. But as we progress, we'll unlock the regular quality, the excellent quality and the exceptional quality. Uh, for right now, since we're just cooking for the delivery girl and our associate, I'm just going to use this speed market. Just get all the cheap stuff. We'll get the more expensive stuff once we have, actually have customers. Alright. You have select the produce needed for the evening service. You can place your order once you have checked your invoice. From your, uh, from your invoice, you can check the details of your order. Uh, note that your responsibility might be affected by the origin of the produce that you buy. Okay. And don't forget to place your order before leaving the marketplace. Got it. So let's pay for that. Got it. Great, the delivery is on its way. In the meantime, you can find the finishing touches to the dining room. Where you can put the finishing touches. So I can enter design mode. To go into the... the ah! To go into the design mode. Jeez, I can't speak. Uh, use one of the renovation stations inside your restaurant. You have two. One next to the storeroom and another next to your office. In design mode, you can move each workstation. You can also add new ones if you own them. You can have more than one of the same workstation. Interact with the workstation while in design mode in that location. For a kitchen layout to be valid, you need at least one of each workstation. All right, so we're going to add a second cooking range. So I'm just going to go here and customize and place it down. There we go. Now we got two stoves. And we can also go to the dining room and decorate over here as well. So you can now customize your dining room by interacting with the furniture you want to change. Some decor has a theme like by, uh, Bistro or Trattoria. Uh, having multiple pieces of furniture of the same theme will give your restaurant a certain mood. You also have access to a catalog for the kitchen and the dining room. You can use money you earn during services to buy new items. You can then customize restaurants to suit your style. Yeah, we're aiming for that Michelin star. Let me change this plant, for instance. I could change it into a coat rack or a lamp or that plant or this right here. But I'll have more unlocks as I level. Let's just go with that. All right, so Max just delivered my goods. Here's your first delivery. I already put everything in your fridges, so no need to worry about that. By the way, produce will drop in quality if you leave it in the storeroom too long, so watch out for that. And they also have an expiration date. Keep that in mind because you want to serve fresh dishes to your customers. Oh, and I got Kasim's message. Thanks for the invite. See you soon. 
So we're going to pick up our... Oh, wait. Is this... Yeah. We're going to pick this up, and we're going to go to each... Uh, no, go to the stocks management table. I thought I did. There we go. So we can see our stocks. So we got two fish, three meat, four veggie, three grain. Now I can pick this up and then come get it all. So I can either press E and get them individually, or I can just hold E and autofill. And I can prioritize what I get based on the quality of the ingredients or by the expiration dates. But since we only have enough quantity to satisfy today, it doesn't matter what we gather. They're both going to be the same. There we go. Now we have to go stock the shelves. I didn't even order those. Do you remember what our cooking instructor used to say? Always preparing in advance is a key to success. With a new delivery, you can start preparing for this evening's practice service. Max and I will act like regular customers, so make sure you prepare some things in advance. All right, so let's go ahead and prepare for the service today. Get some mozzarella. Let's get some tomatoes, some potatoes, and some shallots. Grab some green beans. Um, anything else? Let's grab some flour. And I'm gonna get this fish in here. All right, let's get to work. So let's start by chopping up the fish. Get the skin off it. Slice through and get the bones out of there. Okay, let's chop up our vegetables and our cheese. Excellent. Oh, I didn't chop up my shallot. Okay, we gotta chop up that guy as well. There we go. Okay, and we just have to flour the fish. Come on, give me that. There we go. Alright, now we gotta store everything in the refrigerator, which is right here. Oh, not the green beans. Take those back out. All right, and then let's go ahead and cook those green beans so then those will be ready. And we'll put that under the warmer right here. Just to get us ahead of the schedule. Put it down. Uh, I do need salt and pepper. Uh, let's go ahead and turn it on. Power. I'm just waiting for it to heat up. So we have one knowledge point, but we can't currently spend it. And it's boiling. Throw the green beans down. Oh wait, place it. Okay, let's get to seasoning. Need a lot of salt. Not enough. Perfect. Okay, it's all seasoned. Let's go ahead and increase the strength. And then once this is done, we're just going to put it right under the heat lamp. Alright, take the pot. And put it under here. Alright, we're all prepared. Let's go ahead and talk to Kasim and do this practice run. You're doing great. You'll be able to have Max come for the service. You can go into the kitchen. I'll welcome her and take her order. All right. Sounds good. Time to get to work. You just started a service. Customers orders are usually taken by your servers, but as this is only a practice, Kasim and Max will give you their orders directly. Once the tables have made their choice, their orders are shown on the top of your screen. To help you, the recipes for all the dishes on the menu are automatically pinned when the service begins. Don't forget that you can use all the food you previously stored on the uh, on the warmer and in the refrigerator. Alright, give me a recipe. What are we doing first? 
Okay, so we want a salad and fish. A table left... Okay, let me go back. A table is placed in order. Try to serve the dish as fast as possible. A table left waiting too long will become impatient and you will lose points for the service. On the other hand, you earn extra points for having served a table quickly. With the second cooking range you installed, you should uh, you can cook two foods at the same time. It's a good way to save time during the service. All right. Well, let me go grab the supplies. I need to get the balsamic and the sugar so I can make that vinegar sauce. I need a basil leaf. Uh, other than that, I need the butter and that for the fish. So let me grab a pot. We're going to get that going. Right here, saucepan. Boom, and sugar. Okay, good. And then I need another pan for the fish. Let me grab my mozzarella and my tomatoes from the refrigerator. Oh, let me grab my fish as well. All right, so all that's good. Let me go ahead and stir so it doesn't stick to the pot. Now, while that is going, I'm going to go ahead and put my fish down as well. And let's start it up. We give this another stir, and then I got to drop the butter while my fish is on the first phase. Here we go, drop the butter. Okay, I got my green beans here. I just need one... I just need one thing of green beans. I guess I could do that later. Staying warm. Alright, give this another stir. So you can see here, we are, we're just practicing still, but once we start getting customers, you're going to be doing multiple things. In the top left, you can see that bar is slowly, slowly going down. It's almost past the first bar. Let's see, he'll, he'll probably want some meat, so let me go ahead and get this going. Probably have to do one of each. There we go. Get that ready. Give this one more stir so it doesn't stick. It's almost ready. Fish is looking good. And good to go. Alright, I'm going to take that. I'm going to wait a second, just because this is almost done. I don't want it to burn. Alright, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to go to my salad, get that ready. Let's go ahead and make it. Throw it down, put the balsamic on it. Gotcha. I just need a thing of green beans and we're good to go. Let me move this pot or this pan here. Let me get, just get it out of the way for now. Got it. All right, we're going to go ahead and plate this for our first customer. So fish and green beans and serve. We still got to put that salad down too. Okay, there's one. You may need to cook the meat for longer or shorter. Okay. The icon indicates the level of doneness they want their meat. So right here you can see they want it medium rare. So there's rare, medium rare, and well done. So we're going to need to cook this steak medium rare. Uh, right. Sounds good. Uh, let me go ahead. That's done. Serve that dish. And I'm also going to serve that salad right here. Basil leaf. Go ahead and prepare it for you. Excellent. And serve. Alright, now time for the meat. Let me get my fries and my shallots out of here. Alright, this is getting a little cool, but I won't really need it. But I'm still going to put it under the warmer. Uh, one thing I want to do is get this out of the way. Let me go ahead and turn on those fryers so we can drop the fries once it heats up. Now I'm going to grab my seasoning. I'm going to make sure I still have it. There we go. Let me grab another pan from here. 
All right, we're gonna cook up this meat now. So start. All right, so the shallots need to go on the first phase. Drop them. I'm gonna go ahead and season it. I need lots of salt and lots of pepper. Salt, salt, pepper, pepper. How are we looking? Not enough salt, not enough pepper. And now it's perfect. Okay, while that's going, I was thinking maybe I should do my fries. All right, let's try it. Now I gotta flip this. There we go. Small fries. All right, nice and hot. Let's finish off that meat. Again, we have to get medium rare. So right here is rare. It's cooking up to the medium rare and we got to pull it right there. And if it goes here, it gets burnt. All right. Fries and medium rare steak. Serve. I'm glad I practiced this before I streamed it. Because <laughs> the first time I did this, it was not this smooth. It took some time to get good. A plus execution. Look at that. It's all shiny. Serve it. Yeah, the first time I did it, I just I ran out of time. I didn't know what I was doing. Everything was going badly. Now you can learn from my mistakes. So our customers gave us 85 out of 100. I'm pretty sure the only reason it's not 100 is because we're using basic ingredients, not the high quality ingredients, because we're not there yet. Uh, so I think 85 is the best we can get. We got $3 tips from each. We got 63 total money today, and we got 102 experience. We can see that the customers also leave us with reviews too. A plus deserves a smash of that like button. Appreciate it, Matthew. So one customer said, loved it, great meal from start to finish. Another one said, although I come here often, the quality of the dishes still surprises me. 20 out of 20 on all of them. That's what we're aiming for. Look at that. That's a Michelin star chef for you. All right. Thanks for the meal. It was simple food, but it really hit the spot. You'll have clients lining up around the block for sure. For a practice service, it went really well. It gives me a lot of confidence for the grand opening. Now that our guest has gone, it's time to clean up the kitchen and in the evening ritual. I still have a couple of things to take care of before we open, so I'll leave it to you. Well, tomorrow's the big day. I'll meet you here at noon. Get some rest in the meantime. Good night. Okay, so once the service is over, you can go directly to the next day. So we're just going to do that. We're not going to worry about cleaning and all this stuff. They'll all get taken care of. Next day. Our very first opening day. We are ready. Day four. So the clock, the work day, the grand opening of the restaurant has finally arrived. The work day starts early in the morning and ends after the evening service. You can keep track of the time with the clock at the top of the screen. Daily tasks, start by deciding on the day's menu and then stock the kitchen shelves with the ingredients you need. Once the shelves are stocked, start, start prepping some recipe steps in advance. It will help you for the evening service. Team schedules. Your chefs usually arrive mid-morning. Kasim should arrive uh, soon. Uh, should arrive soon. To start his work day. Uh, the servers will arrive later tonight, just before the service. So there are other servers, other chefs, and um, other people that can help or have them help me, depending on what I would need done, prepping or anything. Uh, that'll come later. Spare time. You should have enough time in the day to take care of your restaurant. In your spare time, you can use the design mode, the plating editor, or learn new recipes at the research table. And then here's some preferences that you can do to customize your in-game experience. So if you thought, like, once you did it, if you were stressed out, you can get calmer service where the customers will never become impatient and take all the time you need. Uh, you can have fewer customers. You can have 
recipe reminders. The recipe details of certain dishes are displayed as you cook. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on, actually, so I don't forget. Uh, and then your dishes will never fail or burn. I'm gonna turn that off, so that way my dishes have a chance to burn, because I think that makes it more interesting. I would like the reminders, like, throw in the shallots on this first phase, or the second phase, but I don't want to have it too handicapped. All right, so let's go manage our stocks and order our supplies for today. So you can see we got another recipe here. Well, we I guess we don't have it unlocked. We have to be level three. We're only level two. We got another knowledge point. But soon we'll be able to get the orange, carrot, and mint consome, uh, consome? I don't know how to say that. Uh, or the cacio uh, e pepe. <laughs> let's get some pasta. Um, beef meatballs and sauce. Veal, melanese, or melanese, with a fresh garden salad. That sounds nice. Blanquette de vu. I don't know. <laughs> uh, fireside soups. Lemon marinated beef carpaccio. Carpaccio. That sounds good. Uh, sauteed veal with olives and tomatoes. That sounds nice. All right, let's go manage our stocks for today. Pretty much, we're just going to go back here and order. But now, since... Oh, I forgot. I gotta use the phone to order. What do you need? But now, since I'm serving for customers, instead of getting the supermarket basic international, I'm gonna go with the higher agriculture, which is local. Try to buy locals to impress my first guest on my grand opening. And pay. I do the rounds of the suppliers and then deliver to you. So you can see the truck loading as she's bringing the supplies. So normally while I'm waiting for the supplies, I can get stuff going. I might be able to, no, I, like I can go ahead and decorate here. I can go into my office. Right now everything's blocked off while we're still in a tutorial mode. Yeah, this is grown straight from local sources. That's why it's a little bit better. And then my responsibility is gonna stay higher too. So all this other stuff we're about to unlock, and there's a lot of customization still to come. I'm just waiting on this delivery right now. Can't do much else. I could change my clothes, I guess. Open! Come on! Your day's order is here! Nice! Okay. Let me get the food, put it in the bin. Look at that fish. That's a big fish head right there. It's huge. All right, let's go ahead and stock the shelves. Same menu for today. All right, now we get to go to our office, which is where more customization comes in. All right. So our dashboard, welcome to the management panel of your restaurant. You're now on the restaurant page. Each page shows information about development of your restaurant. The profile page provides details of your progress. With the team page, you can check the state of mind of your chefs. The city page shows the people you have met and the current state of your relationship with them. Finally, the previous services page displays a summary of your past services. The restaurant page displays important information about your restaurant. You can also change the name and the logo of your restaurant here. Your clientele is represented by this gauge. Uh, each slot filled is a new customer. The heart icons are your regular customers. They love your restaurant and leave bigger tips. The hygiene gauge shows the hygiene level of your restaurant. Be sure to keep an eye on it and assign a member of your team to cleaning duties when needed. The responsibility gauge reflects your efforts to stay eco-friendly. A higher responsibility level will keep your team spirits up. So let's go ahead and edit our restaurant. Let's change the name from restaurants. We'll just say to the Ben Texans. Uh, let's change our icon.
Mm hmm. I guess I'll just go with this one. Okay, so our style of food is casual cuisine for now. Menu price is neutral. Our fish dish is our most ordered. And no rewards. We don't have any rewards to celebrate, unfortunately. We just started. Profile, you can say my name. I'm a rookie chef, level two. My account balance, how much money I got. Kasim, he's my only chef. He is a fish fillet. He specializes in fish and seafood dishes. Uh, you may have met Max, so she's the only one I met so far. She's my delivery person. And this is my last service from yesterday. Okay. Another thing is our catalog here. So here we'll be able to buy more, like more stoves, more fridge, an oven, plancha, a meat grinder, stand mixer, pasta machine, meat slicer, a wood fire oven, a blender. We have a lot of decoration items for the dining room. We can put stuff on the walls, paintings. That looks pretty cool. We can make it a bice, uh, bistro. We can make it a steakhouse, probably. That might be nice. We got a bunch of different floors here that we can pick from, but again, they're all gated off by level required. So we really can't do much yet. And then our character, we can customize our character. Plant pattern jacket. That's weird. Here's our striped sailor's top and scarf. Lots of shoes, even you can get change your hairstyle as well. Tattoos, if you want to get a tattoo after all. And then our plates, we could buy new plates once we get that level and that money. But for right now, I think we're better off saving our money. Office chair, fast forward. You can relax in your chair to make time fa pass faster. If someone wants to talk to you or an important event occurs, the passage of time will be interrupted. So I can press E here. And it will fast forward the time. Kasim, well, this is it. Tonight is showtime. We've been working for months and we're finally opening. Now that everything is ready, I can take my place as a chef in the kitchen, which means you can assign them tasks to me. All right, so assigning a task, talk to one of your chefs to assign them a task. For now, Kasim can only be assigned to clean the restaurant. Note that the higher your responsibility level, the higher your team spirits are, which makes them more efficient. Asking a chef to clean the restaurant will increase the hygiene level as shown on the dashboard in your office. Hygiene emergency. During a hygiene emergency, you must ask one of your chefs to clean the restaurants to prevent your clean, uh, to prevent your clean the restaurant from getting even lower. Dealing with a hygiene emergency takes time, so consider cleaning your restaurant regularly. Yeah, we definitely want a clean restaurant. We don't want to get any bad reviews because it's nasty. So he's already going to work while he's cleaning. Let me just make sure. Need help. Clean the restaurant. Uh, while he's cleaning, I'm going to go ahead and prep for customers. Tomatoes, shallots. Uh, I need the fish. Oh, and let me get the green beans too. So we're pretty much gonna do the same thing we did to prep for them. So let's get that fish taken care of. Let's get it filleted. Excellent. Take that fish. Go ahead and cut our tomato, mozzarella, and shallots. You can only cut three things at a time. That's why I didn't add the potato yet. Okay, potato. Great, I'm going to come over here and put my fish and my flour. Go ahead and coat it. You haven't washed your hands yet. <laughs> going to be awesome. Yeah, that's true. That would that would bring down the hygiene a little bit, wouldn't it? Let me go ahead and get some of the meat as well. Just cut it open. It doesn't take but a second, but might as well while we're here. Maybe he does it in between the fast forward time. He washes his hands. Let me take that beef. Let me get those green beans going. Let me go ahead and power this up so that way it can heat up. Oh, well, it doesn't help if there's no water. We'll put green beans in an empty pot. There we go. 
All right, throw that down. You can see the flames coming up from the stove. That's pretty cool. Put that down. Let me get my seasonings for the green beans. Let me go ahead and place all my stuff in here for today. Or for tomorrow. Or this evening, I should say. Eat. I still got a couple areas here. What am I missing? I could probably do another mozzarella and tomato. In case there's another salad that they want. Another... Fantastic menu today. Oh, thank you. Alright, just chop it. There we go. Alright, let me throw down my green beans. And let me season those guys. Salt. Perfect. Okay, we're going to let that cook. While that's cooking, let me go ahead and put away my tomatoes and my mozzarella. And we should be good to go. I don't think I missed anything. I got my salad, I got my green beans, I got my fish, got my beef, got my shallots, got my fries. Yeah, we should be good. Spotless. Nice. Do we have everything for this evening? Yes, we do. Almost done. And take it off. Put it up here in the warmer. Now, if you put bowls right here, which you can do, if you do it before your restaurant opens, these will be gone. So you want to not put anything there. And anything that you put in your inventory will be gone too, and the seasonings will be gone. So that's why I don't put anything in here to like get ready, and I'll have to come back over here. But now that we've got everything prepared, we're pretty much just waiting to open, so let's go ahead and fast forward time. Come over here, fast forward. Oh, we have a customer. We're technically not open yet, sir. Is this a new restaurant? I just came to welcome you to our beautiful city. I'll try to come and eat here in the next few days. I can't wait to see what you have on the menu. Alright. Thank you for wasting my time. Shouldn't those doors be locked until we open? I blame Kasim. Hey, I decided to hire a head server to manage the service staff. I'll help her out today so she can get up and running quickly. Ah, here she is. Hari. Hi, chef. I'm Pari. Nice to meet you. I'll take care of everything in the dining room. I'll manage the servers and the customer service. So you can focus on the kitchen and only the kitchen. Speaking of customers, they'll start arriving soon. Got to go and get ready. Pari. You have met Pari, your restaurant's head server. As... An experienced server, she is excited about her new role and manages her team with enthusiasm. Nice. That's what we like to see. Let's get enthusiastic about cooking. Alright, let's open up. Everybody's ready. That's it, everything's ready. Time to open the doors. Can't believe it, we're actually opening our own restaurant just like we dreamed of in culinary school. I know we have what it takes to become one of the best restaurants around. We can do it. All right. Day four, open. I like how they have this little guard here. <laughs> I can't get out of my own restaurant. I'm stuck back here. Uh, I don't need flour. I do need balsamic and that. While we're waiting for the first customer, let's go ahead and get that vinegar going because that takes a second. Oh, I need the seasonings. I almost forgot. Hey, Mantra. All right, start. Yeah, it's going to take a minute, so let's get that going now. I'm also going to get this and put these down here so those are ready. All right, let me stir so it doesn't stick. 
Okay, let's take this back. Oh, we got our first order in. It's a rare steak and potatoes. All right, let me get my steak, my fries, and my shallots. Oh, I forgot to turn on the fryer. Let me turn on the fryer real quick, and we'll give that another stir. Okay, stir it. All right, let me go ahead and put down the fries now. There we go. And I need a pan so I can cook this steak. All right. Nope. Uh, steak. There we go. And start. And once it's into phase one, we'll go ahead and put down the shallots. My fries are almost done. Got it. All right. We put down the shallots real quick. We go and season this guy. Pepper and lots of salt. Oh no 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 no! My balsamic, my balsamic. Okay, good. I got it. <laughs> How are we doing here? Perfect. Okay, let's flip it. Oh, uh, back. Flip it. There we go. She wants it rare, so I got to pull it once it's ready. Uh, let's come over here and we'll put down our balsamic there. Okay, I'm about to pull this. Got it. Okay, let's go ahead and plate. Here we are. And plating is in progress. Nice, look at that. Okay, serve it up. Oh, crap. Oh, here it is. Serve dish. <laughs> There we go. That was weird. Oh yeah. It's off to the table. Thank you. So we got our green beans, we got our balsamic. As long as someone doesn't want another steak, we should be okay. Customers are arriving. Let's get to washing some of these dishes. Set them aside. It's kind of cool because they actually come in and they sit down. And they open up the menus and see what they want. Do they give a reaction when you give them burnt food? I don't think you're allowed to. He won't serve it, I don't think. If he does, I'm sure they'll give me a one star. <laughs> I haven't ever served people burnt food. I try to avoid that. See, so he takes their orders. There she goes. She just dined and ditched. She disappeared. All right, what we got? Okay, so we got the caprese salad, and we got the fish. We get that balsamic. Okay, we're going to make that salad. Salad isn't going to get cold, so we're okay with that. Then we'll cook that fish. We already have green beans ready for us. Great. And let's get another pan for the fish. And start it. Oh, I need the basil too, I almost forgot. Butter needs to drop on the first phase. So once the fish is done, we'll get the green beans and we will be good to go. I guess while I'm waiting, I can go ahead and wash this. Why not? Makes me more responsible as, as a chef. Clean up as I go. Don't leave everything to the night crew. And then that's clean. I just gotta put it away.
Okay, we should get it before it gets to that second bar down there in the top left. It's still on the first bar for now. It is taking a second, though. Oh, no, it's going to be close. Could probably turn up the heat, but I don't want to overcook it. There's no rush. They want it cooked right. Got it. All right, let's go. Time to plate. Oh no, my green beans. There we go. Okay. Here is the fish fillet with the green beans. Great. Serve it. And then here is the caprese salad. Serving now. And serve. All right, let's go ahead and get to washing. Here we go. 102 experience. We got coins. Loyal customers. Serviced, finished. Okay. Perfect score so far. 85 is as much as we can get. 63 is as much as we can get. 102 is as much as we can get for only two customers for right now. Every time I come, I reserve a table for the next time. It's becoming a ritual. Wonderful food will definitely come again. Awesome. Good first day. Now they're cleaning up all the tables, wiping everything down. All right, go to the next day. Okay, this is about as far as I've gotten, so now things are going to get difficult. Okay, so here we are. Early in the morning. First things first is we got we got more knowledge points so I can get this other recipe here. This will give me orange, carrot, and mint consomme. I don't know how to say that. Uh, should I get it? I guess we should. Why not? Why not learn it? You have unlocked the recipe for orange, carrot, and mint consomme. You need to make it at least once before you can add it to your menu. Consomme. Gotcha. Alright, so I need those ingredients though if I want to make it. If I want to serve it. I can't serve it without having made it already. Do you need something today? Yes. Alright, so let's go grab our, our materials from our agricultural store, the local store. So let me get four of the veggies, three meats, two fish, and three grain. And let's pay. On its way. Responsibility up. Motivated team. Let me make sure... Oh, Kasim's not arrived yet. This is early, early in the morning. I'm the only one here. I basically live here. So I'm going to make this dish. I've never made this before, this consume. We're going to see how to make it. I'm sure we got to chop up the carrots and the oranges or... Oh, let me go to my recipe book. That might help. Here it is. Okay. Oh, we need a uh, blender. I don't know if we have a blender. I can buy one. Okay, I got a blender. Consume. Gotcha. Consume. So right here, I'm going to 
I'm gonna edit my shop. So that way I can make a blender where this cabinet is. Nope, I, don't, I didn't press edit, I guess. I thought I did. Design mode. There we go. Customize. Blender. Alright, let's make this. So what's the first step? So first I need to... You can prepare this dish beforehand. So let me get... Oh, well let me stock my shelves first. That'd be nice. Step one. Stock the shelves. And here. All right, step two. Here we go. Tomato, carrot, mint, thyme, uh, thyme and cucumber. So first we have to blend the orange and blend the carrot so we get orange and carrot juice. That uh, juice, God, can't speak today. All right, here we go. Blender, carrot. Go. This is the blender. You can use it to blend foods. Wow. Amazing. The blender works without intervention and will keep running even if you leave the station. If you want to season the food, you can pause the blender for as long as you need to adjust the seasoning. Wait, how do I pause it? It needs salt and basil. Let me get salt and basil. There we go. A l not enough salt. I need a lot of basil. How are we doing? Perfect. Okay. Uh, power back on. Uh, tab and B. Excellent. Okay, can I take that? There we go. And now I need to do the same with my orange. I don't season the orange. Excellent. Take that. Okay, now what? Make orange juice. I did that. I made carrot juice. I made orange juice. Storage. You can prep the dish. So I need to grab this metal tray. And now what do I do with it? Pots and pans. Um... Prep station, I don't have any chefs. Okay, mixing tray, oh, okay. Carrot juice, orange juice, fresh mint, and sprig of thyme. Okay, so the mixing table is just right next to it, right here. Metal tray, ah, oh, here we go. And start. Okay, hold up. Hold down. Ah. Okay, so I'm, I'm doing it, I guess. It's in progress. That takes a second. What am I am I just supposed to sit here? Okay, no, I can leave, right? That is going so slow. And then I just put it in the fridge and then it's good to go so yeah keep it in the fridge and then I have to chop up the cucumber and put it in there oh so I guess it stays cold okay let me chop up the cucumber
There we go. Cucumber slices. That is taking a second. Is Kasim here yet? Hey. You can't wait to get cooking. No, you need to clean, buddy. Let me talk to you. I'm the cook, you clean. It's like he went to school for all these years and spent all this money to go, and now he gets to clean up my restaurant. <laughs> Poor Kasim. Jeez, that takes a second. Alright, let's go ahead and get other stuff ready for the restaurant. Because we're still going to open today. There we go. Let me get a fish as well. Wait to start the evening service. Our customers will be blown away. Got that. And let me cut some vegetables. Got my potatoes. Got my shallots. Got my tomato. I just need my mozzarella. Oh, I need flour. So I can put the fish, coat it in flour. Oh, that's with the mixing table. So I gotta wait a second. I guess I can get my pot. For the green beans. Let me go ahead and turn this on. Soup's up. Uh, and now I can put it in here. Oh, well, wow, that's taking up a lot of space. So how do I add the cucumber? Okay, storage once prepped. Cutting board, cucumber slices. Oh, at the plating station is where I add the cucumber. I gotcha. Okay, let me get my fish back out. Uh, I guess, well, I got played it anyway because I have to do it for, to know how to make it. Let's go ahead and do the plating so we know how to make it. Um, metal tray and... Why is it saying use there? Oh, here we go. Uh, cucumber. Start. Okay, this is that how it's the way it looks regular, but I'm not gonna do that. Let's go ahead and redo it. Let's get a nice black bowl. I don't need a, a sauce for it. There you go. That's all you get. <laughs> Perfect. There's your soup. Perfect soup. <laughs> That'd be a little rude. I'd be pretty upset as a customer. I thought it was going to float. Nope. It's down there. There we go. Look how most of the stuff you can't even tell it's in there. Perfect.
All right. So I made it. A plus. Clean off the tray. That's a pretty tough recipe. I don't know if I'll use that. At least not for today. I think we'll just stick with our three ingredients. Uh, let me get my green beans. And do I still have my salt and pepper? Okay, now I have my pepper. Drop it. And drop it. Needs more salt, just a little bit. Perfect. Now, I don't think the green beans are gonna fry if I turn them up really high. Yeah, they should be okay if I blast it. I guess I'm pretty much done for today. Let me get my meat. Now that I got the soup out of there, I can put the meat in there. Excellent. Green beans are almost done. How's it going today? Good. We got the green beans. Put a soup in there. Oh, I got flour in my fish. Okay, fish is floured. I think I got everything. Yes. Alright, let's go ahead and fast forward the time. Let's get another dinner service going. You have to prep that again for the actual service? No, I, d I didn't put it on the menu. I just made it because if you don't make it, you won't be able to serve it or put it on the menu. That would take a lot of time to make that. I think we're going to stick with our three items. Our steak and uh, shallots and fries. Our caprese and basil. And our fish filet and green beans. But yeah, if you, if you get a new recipe and you don't make it, you can't serve it without having first made it. Let's get our seasonings. All right, I need to get basil, butter, and sugar, and balsamic. There's a table of four there. Oh my gosh. What's up, Ramon? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's stir. I can't turn the heat up on this because otherwise it won't be a good quality balsamic. What we got? Oh my gosh, look how much stuff they ordered. They ordered so much stuff. Okay, let's stir this so it doesn't stick. There's four of them and they ordered four dishes. This is impossible. Let me get the fries going. Oh, I gotta turn the fryer on, speaking of fries. Let's go ahead and get the potato cut. Get another stir before this gets finished. Almost done. And done. Get that. Put that there. Let me grab the. Grab the pot. No, grab the pot. Take it. 
Put it here. I'm going to... Nope. Warmer. I'm going to take the balsamic, put that there. I'm going to go ahead and drop the fries in the fryer. Go ahead and make the salad. I need my mozzarella and my tomatoes. And let me get my meat, my shallots. Let me just get everything I need. Okay, fries are almost done. Okay, I'm gonna put the fries under the warmer. Okay, let me go ahead and put the tomatoes, mozzarella, and balsamic. Let's go ahead and mix it up. And pour it on. Excellent. Okay, now we need to take this. Give it a good rinse. All right, let's put that away. I need two pans. One of them wants their meat well done, the other one wants it medium rare. Oh, I need more shallots. I was about to get started. That have been dangerous. Okay. Oh, cutting board. I'm all frazzled. There's a lot to do! I got green beans, I got my fish. Uh, speaking of fish, let me get the fish out. What else do I need for the fish? I need butter. I got the- I don't have butter. I need butter for the fish. Okay, we're good there. Uh, let's get those steaks going. Okay. Let me throw down the shallots. Got season. Lots of salt, lots of pepper. Not enough black pepper. Perfect. Good. Shallots. Lots of salt, lots of pepper. Not enough salt. Perfect. Flip it. Good. Flip it. Good. Okay, it's medium rare. And well done. Okay, that's done. That's done. Alright. Another pan. Start it. Uh, let me get my fries. I gotta put the butter. I gotta drop the butter down. Butter. I need my basil leaf too. I'm just waiting on that fish. I think I can turn it up. Let's get that going. Come on, that's all I need. Uh-oh. I'll put the meat down. So I can stay warm. Okay, the bar is going down. Come on, fish. Take it. Take the meat. All right, plating. Green beans. Okay, serve. And steak. Thank 
Thanks, Seth. You're welcome. And serve. Okay, next. That smells so good, Chef. Okay, calm down. Let's take it easy. And last. I told me to say nothing. <laughs> No! It, it beeped right at the last time, right at the last second. <sighs> Thank you, it's on its way. Let's see, how'd I do? 67? What? An enjoyable experience as always. Then why did you give me a passing grade? 68, it says now. What was bad? The stakes was 18 out of 20. This one was. But that's it. Everything else was positive. How do I get 68? That's like... Not even close to what this reflects. Whatever. Get out of here. Get out of my restaurant. Alright, let's end the day. That was tough. Oh man, that was stressful. Alright, let's see. What we got? We've got four knowledge points. I can make the... Was it? Cacio e Pepe? Let's try it. Water, noodles, and cheese. Okay, let's put our order in. For the market. What do you need? Four, three, two, and three. Okay. Consider it delivered, chef. Consider it delivered, chef. Maybe I should take away one of those dishes for something else. Maybe if I have the soup ahead of time, that'll be easier. I got time to prep. Maybe I take away the fish? Or maybe the potatoes. What do y'all think? a soup I could just prep and put in the fridge it looks like then just get add some chopped cucumbers and it's good to go might be faster all right give me that give me that stock up the shelves What costs more? Probably the steak and potatoes don't cost that much. Oh no, I did it. Oh, I didn't. I ordered. I had to change the menu before I put in my order so that way it knew what to give me. So I can't change it now. Dang it. Uh, all right, well, let's cook this new dish. Let me go to my recipe book. All right, first things first, let's get some water. Oh, not that. Put that down. I want the big pot. Fill it up. Okay, let's get the ingredients. All right, now what? So, we need to get that water to a boil. Go ahead and turn that on. We're gonna put down the noodles and we gotta season too. Get that. Ok, 
Okay, it's almost there. Pasta. And throw it in. Now we're going to season it. I need a lot of salt. A little bit of salt. Whenever it says not enough, you just gotta do one more. Okay, we gotta grate that Parmesan. Let me get this first. Okay, I got the nudes. Let me grate the Parmesan. Oh, cutting board. Duh. That's so loud. <laughs> Hello, can I come in? No, you can't come in. I'm still prepping. What's up? What are you doing? People just let themselves in. Hip, hip hot light. Uh, it's always nice to see young people move to our community. It reminds me of when I was younger. I know opening a restaurant is stressful, but try not to worry too much. Oh, okay. Well, now I won't worry. Uh, here's a tip. Start small. Work on building a core of regulars and grow from there. All it takes is a few satisfied customers who tell their friends about it. That's how you build up your clientele. Good luck, chef. I like that. Just someone just tells you not to worry. It's like, oh, okay. Well, now that you put it that way. Uh, during the day, certain people might come to your restaurant to ask you for help to view, uh, to view these panels, the request panel, and follow their progress. You can consult the request panel in your office. You'll find a summary of all their current requests on the result uh, request page. And after completing a quest, when you complete all the objectives, the person who initially gave it will come back to thank you. Completing a request marked as story will make your relationship with the relevant character grow. Strengthen your relationships to earn unique rewards. All right. So if I go back to my office, I can look at that request board. And so there's requests and challenges. Challenges give you a little bit of reward, but sometimes they're not worth it probably. So all he wants me to do is have five regulars. And if I get, give your customers a warm welcome, complete two great services. I get 50 gold and one gold coupon. Uh, themed events, complete three services with a menu theme of vegetarian and make four French dishes. So different challenges if I want to pursue any of those. Yeah, I would like to make another fridge, but those are $300. I don't have that money yet. Alright, so I, I grated my cheese. Now what? Now I need a pan. And I need a... I got my water, so I'm going to put that down. And I'm going to start. Do I season it now? Lots of black pepper. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to throw down my water, I guess. There we go. So water's on the first phase. Let me put the lid on it. It says here... Yeah, water's on the first phase. Spice it. Remember to cover the food. Avoid too low of a heat. Isn't that what it said? Avoid heat too low, perfectly seasoned, cover the food. Okay. So I can I can raise the heat though. I just said avoid a low heat. Make it go a little faster. I got other things to prep. Okay, I got that. And I got that. And now I just saute it. Use a saute pan. Get out of here. Here we go. Put it right here. And boom. 
and start. And I guess in the first phase is when I put the noodles, I suppose. Yep. Okay, let's go ahead and stir. Now with these noodles, is there a certain heat I need to avoid? Like no low heat, don't put it on high heat. It says here, avoid high heat and stir the food. Okay. We stir again. Nice and creamy. Hey, Kasim, back to cleaning. To get no cleaning, just cleaning. Okay. And let's go ahead and serve. Plate it. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, let's go ahead and make our own plate. I don't need that. Next step. Here's our pasta. I guess this bowl's not good for the pasta. Unless it's like that. How's that? There we go. That works. Oh, look at that. There's another one there that looks pretty interesting. What is that on top? Huh. All right, let's get, let's get it to run. Oh, it's a little too saucy, isn't it? You can't really tell that there's noodles in there. Maybe something like that? Wait, it's not overly saucy? It's not really centered, but I guess that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, I can put something else on the back side here. No! Um, delete the plate. How do I redo it? Backspace. No, no photo. No, don't take a photo. What am I, what am I pressing? Assembly. Okay, here we go. All right, let's try that again. Okay, and then I'm gonna pour just enough. That looks pretty good. And then I'm going to... Add a couple leaves, I think. That looks fine right there. Yeah, good. Use that. And serve. All right, never mind. Uh, take. All right, we did it. Now let's go ahead and prep for today. Can't wait to start the evening service. Our customers will be blown away. Tomato, shallots. Not an orange. I don't need orange. I was gonna get potato. Green beans, fish, I need flour, so much stuff. Okay, let's get to cutting. Get those fillets. 
Very nice. Cut. Mozzarella tomatoes, shallots. Thank you. And let's cut two potatoes. Thank you. And let's go ahead and make the fish. Flour it up. Good. And then let me get this out of the way. And let me get this out evening? of the way. Yes, we do. Okay, let me grab a big pot, fill it with water for the green beans. Put it down. Go ahead and turn on the power so we can start boiling. Make, make sure I got my seasonings. Okay, good. Guess let me put stuff in the fridge while I'm waiting. And here it goes. Wait, I thought I had green beans. Did I put them in here accidentally? I did. <laughs> Just threw some green beans in the fridge, sure. Why not? And start. Let's go ahead and season. Perfect. Okay, while that's working, let me go over here and unpin my pasta with Italian cheese. And let me get the meat. And go ahead and slice that open while the Fantastic menu green beans are cooking. Put it over here. We get another fish just in case, because the fish takes a second. So we get two orders of fish, we're gonna run behind. No! I took a green bean! I don't mean to do that. No, I only got two green beans there. That's okay. Two should be enough. I meant to take the pot, I pressed the wrong button, and I took a bowl. Excellent. Take the fish and let's powder the fish. There you go. All right, we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and fast forward the time. Do the best we can. It is time to serve. Hopefully this service goes better. I got a little bit crazy there with four people on that table. I could handle one or two at a time, but four was a lot. Oh, let me get my balsamic vinegar. I need to get my basil leaf too. Okay, see, there's only two of them right now. I can do two. Take your time ordering, no rush. There is no rush. We got. Give me the bad news. There we go. Orders in. Order up. I think that's what you say when you're done. All right. So I need the steak and shallots and fries. Oh, I forgot to turn on the fryer. It's okay. We got time. Power on. They want the steak. Pretty well done. 
We can go ahead and get started on that. Uh, go. Stir this. Make sure it doesn't stick. Throw the shallots down. Seasoning. Oh uh, no, my seasoning! Okay, I got my vinegar. Alright, fries. Throw it. My tomatoes and my mozzarella. Okay, that's gotta go more. Oh, I don't wanna do that yet. I'm gonna run behind. Let me get my fries at least. Okay, that's medium, rare, good. And all I gotta do is this, and then I'm good to go. Oh, is there seasoning for this? Salt. I didn't know there was seasoning for the salad. No wonder I got bad reviews on that last one. Okay, we're good. Oh, I did flip the steak! Oh no! It looks good! <laughs> it's cut up! How would they know? Uh... There's too much to remember. I'm serving it. I'm serving it. No, don't. A plus. Look at that execution. Oh. That's a good salad there. She ain't gonna like her steak, but she's gonna like her salad. Yeah, I screwed up on that one. I did everything right except for flipping it. Two more customers. Wonder if I should get another balsamic going. I guess we'll know soon enough. Guess we can get some stuff prepping. Why not? Like we don't got the ingredients. Uh, here we go. Good thing I made shallots, but I don't need the that. So I need fish, and I need fries, and I need beef, and I need butter. Let's see. Butter, that. No, I need beef. I already got fish. Alright, let's do this. Perfect. Okay, fries, I'm gonna go ahead and dump you now, because I can just put you under the warmer. Now, as far as this goes, I need two pans. One for fish. I'm gonna drop the fish now. Okay, I'm about to pull my fries. Excellent, let me put butter in that pan with the fish. Fries. Now let me get my meat going. And they want it rare. So that should work out pretty well. The only other thing I need is a uh, green bean. Shallots. Okay, now I gotta remember to flip it. 
Oh no! Too much black pepper! No! I could take it. And do it again. It's not too late. What was that sound? It sounded crunchy. What is that sound? Alright, again. Alright, that's done. That here. I'm gonna grab this guy. Oh, well, let me get my steak going. Alright. Missing a lot. Perfect. Okay, flip it now. I don't have to wait. Perfect. Good stuff. We got it. Okay, we're gonna get it in be before the time runs out. And mine. Thank you. And take this stuff from the warmer. And let's get it plated. Serve it. Well, we screwed up the first table. We almost screwed up the second one, but we remade that steak. That looks delicious, chef. I know. Dish served. Dish served. We should get better reviews than yesterday. That's pretty good. I guess that customer didn't mind that we didn't flip her steak. Because we got full credit, full points. Since discovering your restaurant, I can't eat anywhere else. That's a problem. Uh, the special was excellent today. Nice. Service finished. You learned a new recipe, or you can learn. Oh, meatballs and sauce and veal with a garden salad. Those both look good. I can go Italian. We could do like an Italian restaurant. We got three Italian dishes, four Italian dishes. I'm gonna get both of these. Learn. Learn. I wish I could cook this stuff beforehand. Maybe giving that steak with too much pepper would have been okay too? Maybe. But I had plenty of time so I was like, you know what, I could just make another one. Alright. Now... I'm going to change this for the soup because the soup is going to be super easy let's get it super easy <laughs> all i have to do is put it in the fridge and then serve it with cucumbers that i dice up so that's super convenient the green beans that's in the hard side it's just sitting there on the warmer so i think the fish is the only thing i really have to cook in this situation uh now i can't start the italian dishes only for right now because first i have to make the italian dishes I won't know how to make them unless I make them for the first time. So let me pin the meatballs. I'm gonna pin this as well. Not the, no, not beef and potatoes. Jesus. Uh, table contents. Here we go. The veal. Alright. So we're gonna do the soup. And the soup is more expensive than the beef and potatoes. It's weird. You would think the soup would be cheaper. 
than beef and potatoes and shallots. What are you gonna cook today? Don't worry about what I'm cooking today. You just deliver me goods and I'll cook. Stay in your lane, delivery lady. You don't need anything? No, I okay, do need do stuff. You need something for the fridges? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Five, one, two, three. <laughs> That's a good way. Just don't I'll talk. Collect all your products and be right over. Don't talk badly to the delivery lady. She's like, okay, you don't need anything. <laughs> That's a mistake. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. Well, if we're going Italian, then I need to go ahead and change my look a little bit. I think. Oh, yeah. There we go. Has any of your staff leveled up? I don't think so, because I think right now I still only have Kasim. Yeah. I'm not at that point yet. I'm still... Still getting there. Crazy, we're already about two and a half hours in. Let's check out these recipes. I'm excited for the Italian dishes. Who doesn't like a, be a good meat, uh, beef meatballs and sauce? The delivery is here. All right, let's grab our supplies. Thank you. Good. You can even go like a seafood restaurant if you wanted to. I'm not big on seafood, but. Get some lobster, some shrimp. I don't need to see the cutscene of me stocking the shells, I'm okay. Alright, so let's start with these recipes, shall we? Now for the meatballs. Parsley, onion, garlic. We also need the can and the bread. And then we need a slab of a slice of beef. All right, first step first, beef. We're gonna make it into cubes. So beef for grinding. Ooh, I gotta grind it. I need a meat grinder. Oh, I can make beef steak too. Okay, well that's good. I can go and well I don't need that actually. That's a waste. I don't need that for the prep. Can I put that down somewhere? <laughs> um, now what? Chopping board. I need to chop... Oh, that's not chopping board. I need to chop my garlic. My onion. What else do I need to chop? Parsley? And what else is that other thing? Hey, Chef, I have a favor to ask you. No. Don't you see I'm busy? Where are you? What do you want? Hello, Chef. The suppliers are launching a huge loyalty campaign today. If you use the products of a single supplier, you'll get a discount on your next order. But don't wait too long. The offer expires in a few days. Think about it. You could save a lot of money. Well, I already ordered my supplies. Thank you for telling me that after the fact. Alright. What else do I need? What is that other thing? Is that bread? No? I guess I got it all, right? Yeah. No, there's something else I'm missing. The little cubes. Diced onion. Oh, maybe I gotta do another onion? No, that is... I'm missing something. I got the garlic. Let me see. Diced onion. I thought I had diced onion. That's sliced onions. 
Maybe I need two onions then. One diced, one sliced. Cutting board, onion. Ah, there you go. You gotta press E to get to the diced. Alright, next what? Oh, meatballs. Meatballs, no. Stay on meatballs. Okay, I need a blender, which is right here. I need seasoning as well. Okay, meatball cubes. Uh, we got the diced onions, we got the bread, and we got just a regular garlic. Okay. How much garlic is in this? Seems like a lot of garlic. Salt. A lot of salt. Perfect. Okay. And then after that, I... I guess I just make it. On the mix... or not the mixer, the mixing table, yeah. I make the balls and then I cook it, I saute it. And I serve it. Okay, and then I make the meatballs. Gotta roll them. Those are some healthy meatballs. Healthy proportions. Okay, and then I gotta get my saute pan. And then I'm going to put my meatballs, my crushed garlic, and my sliced onions. Everything okay? Kasim! Our front of house staff can handle things themselves now, which is great. But with all these new customers, you're going to need some help with the cooking. So, I'll be your sous chef. It'll be, uh, it'll be like in culinary school. Kasim has joined your team as a chef. What a long way he's come since culinary school. His specialty is still fish, though. You can assign him tasks to do to help you in the kitchen, but make sure you keep him motivated. Your chefs, Kasim has joined your team in the kitchen. You're not working alone anymore. You can talk to members of your kitchen staff to assign certain tasks to them. Your chefs can be assigned to different tasks, cook prep areas. Help in the kitchen. A chef assigned to cook will await your instructions near the prep station. At the station, choose which recipe you want your chefs to make. The food they prep will be available at the end of the station once they are done. The more your chefs cook, the better they are at putting dishes together. Your kitchen staff are not yet as experienced as you for now. They can only work on more basic ingredients in your recipes. The more they get to cook, the more experience they gain. Chefs of a higher level can prep more complex recipes uh, steps and earn better grades. Specialties. Each chef has their own specialty. Chefs will work faster when cooking foods related to their specialty. You can also assign a chef to prepare extras. For each extra task completed, the chef adds a plate ready to be sold during the next service. The, those additional sales will allow you to earn money. Alright. Well, we'll put you at fish. Where are you, Kasim? Hey. Hey. Uh, prepare extras. Help prep food. I guess you're good for now. Who we got here? I'm trying to learn how to make meatballs. What do you want? Emergency exit working properly. Hygiene standards being followed. The mayor will be pleased. Hello, I'm Jean, or Jean. Um, I work at City Hall. We're thrilled that you took over this place. I was delighted when the mayor approved your file. You were my favorite candidate. Welcome to our wonderful community. We love it. Uh, we hope you love it here. Good luck. You have met Gene, an employee at City Hall and whose responsibilities include your restaurant. He works closely with the mayor and will often ask you to participate in various events organized by the city. I'll refuse. Alright, so we got all that. Let's start. Salt and pepper. Perfect. Okay, next step. 
What do I add next? Is it tomato? I think it's tomato. And then basil is last. Or parsley. Basil. Is there anything else I need to know about this? Like what kind of heat? Perfectly seasoned. Yeah, parsley at the end. Avoid low heat. So I can turn it up. And get it done faster. I still have to prep. My game today. You can count on it. Get better. And done. All right. Go ahead and plate it. Start. We finally get to level the staff. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, let's redo the plating just to see what other options we have. I like a bowl. That way I can put the sauce in there. Get those big healthy meatballs. Do I place it? Um, space. There we go. Perfect. Put a little, little dab of sauce? No, we want to dump it. Dump the sauce on there. Yeah, let it swim. Let's just rotate it a little bit. Looks pretty good. I can get it on there perfectly. All right. A little bit of onions. Throw it in there like that. It's in the sauce. Okay. And I think that looks pretty good. I don't need any extras. Use that plate. And tab. All right. Now, what about for the veal? So first I need to make going today? good Parmesan breadcrumbs. Let's get our lemon, tomato, uh, bread, flour, egg, olive oil, Parmesan. All right, KB, have a good night. Appreciate you coming in and supporting the channel. I'm missing one ingredient here. I'm missing multiple, I guess. So first, let me make the breadcrumbs. Well, I need bread. That would help. Well, I got the bread. Yeah, okay, I'm good to go. thought I was missing it. Alright, what kind of seasoning? Dried oregano. Missing a lot of it. Perfect. Okay. And then I need to make the salad vinaigrette. So I need the orange, the red, and then that. OK. 
Okay. Today is going to be awesome. Yes. Good spirit. Oh, put that down. So this will give me the vinaigrette. Okay, just got a whisk. Excellent. Now what? Now I need to get the veal. Here we are. And now I need to beat the egg. Let's beat it. All right. Now what? Now I need to bread the veal. So we're going to get the egg. We got the Breading, we got the veal and the flour. I'll be at the top of my game today. You can count on it. Good. Okay, veal's breaded. Now we have to make lettuce leaves. Okay, well let's get the lettuce. I'm running out of time for prep. Okay, can you prep? Uh help us prep food. Change directions on me. There we go. Now I need to dice tomato. Oh, I went off. No, not meatballs. Now I need to. Oh, I gotta dice the lemon too. Or slice the lemon. Okay, now I need to put that together in the salad. Okay, mixing up that salad good. Now what? Now I need to cook the veal. Today is going to be awesome. Oh, I need the orange stuff. Yeah, I haven't had time to prep anything yet. Alright. I need salt. There we go. Flip it. Oh, that looks good. All right, now what after that? Then I just put it together. The salad was worse than the veal, jeez. All right, well, while we're waiting on that, let's see. Let me get my green beans out. And I still got the fish and the salad, so let me get the mozzarella and a tomato. What task can I help you with? Hold on, hold on. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and plate this. What's up? Uh, can you help prep? Need help? You clean, I guess. Go clean. Salad, veal, and let's go ahead and... F3, free plating. What does that mean? What is free plating? Okay. 
Oh, that looks good. Let me see if I can make it look better. Let's do a bed of lettuce. Oh, that looks nice. Nope, that didn't work out too well, did it? No, <laughs> I don't like that. Let's just do a bunch of tomatoes on there. No, tomato down! That's not really looking appealing, I don't think. That could work. Oh, fancy. I'm going to do a slab of veal. Put a nice size. Oh, I'm trying to put it on top. There we go. That works. Can I do another rose? Okay, I almost had it. Yeah, let's try again. I was close. I was on the right track. I like the way it was starting to look. If I do it like this... And then we'll do the rows... And a rose. There we go. And then the veal... That might be too big. Or let me rotate it this way, so it falls more flat. And then the lemon. There you go. I like it. I don't think I need anything extra. I think that's good right there. Maybe a sprig. A little sprig. Nah. Alright. Use that. And tab out. Alright. Now, we got some prep to do before we open, which is going to be soon. We wasted most of the day. I need potatoes. No, I don't need potatoes. We're not doing them. Oh, I need to do the soup. Oh, no. The soup is what takes so long. I do the fish as well. Um, flour, flour, flour. Fish. All right, cut. Fried. Get those fillets. Okay, bread it. Good. I'm just gonna throw some stuff here just to get it out of the way. All right. Boom, boom, boom. And I need salt and pepper. Good. Let me get my bowl and pan. Where's my pan at? Oh. 
Is there someone waiting for me? It's red up there. Kasim. What do you want? Hey! You know, I hadn't had a chance to create my own recipe since culinary school. With the restaurant doing so well, I was wondering it now if it would be a good time to try. Maybe a recipe based on seafood. I've always loved cooking that, but I need to brush up on basics. Um, by doing the restaurant's fishes dishes. What do you think? Everything okay? Okay. Uh, how do uh. I prepare extras? Okay. Let's drop the green beans. There we go. And season. Lots of salt. There we go. Let's turn up the heat so those can get done with plenty of time. Uh, and then I need to figure out that recipe for the soup. Let me unpin these recipes now that I know them. And soup. Okay, I need to make the orange juice and the tomato, uh, carrot juice. Uh oh, here we go. Let me get this before it burns. Put it up by the warmer. Okay, let's get over here. Orange. Okay, and then... Oh. I need to make the carrot. And this requires seasoning. Salt and basil. So a little bit of basil and a lot of salt. Not enough salt. There we go. Oh, perfect. Okay, I need a tray. And put it there. Good. Take that. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. And then pour it. And then go down. Great. And then that's in progress. And the only other thing is to put it in the fridge. Look at you. Wonder how I get him to cook stuff. What's up? Help prep food. I don't need you to prep. Everything. Oh, okay? he won't clean. Not again. I'm tired of doing this. I think we're okay. I guess I'm gonna get another tomato and mozzarella. We're gonna chop that up while we're waiting on the soup. I might make another fish too. It's time to open. I wonder if I get a penalty for not opening on time. Maybe it'll just open up automatically. Last few times I had to go to the door and open it. Uh oh, I forgot the... What's it called? The flour. Oh, I can't prep anymore. But that's still going, right? No, it stopped. Everything stopped. Everything stopped. Uh, confirm. Help prep food. Wash dishes. Feel free to get me working on something. I can right. help. During service, you can give instructions to your chef. Use give orders. Okay. Oh, you know what? That stuff didn't finish. I have to do it again. And I'll get my 
spices. I got that at least, and I got that stuff in there. Okay. I need lots of salt, lots of basil. Enough basil. Perfect. I'll leave the order here. All right, you. How do I give him give order? How do I do the fish? Three. No. There. On it. Take the carrot juice. This dude's insane. Oh, I need the tray. I know that's not what's ordered, but this is going to take a long time, so if I don't get started now, it's not going to get done. Wait, what am I doing? Mixing table. It's like not working. I got the orange juice. I got that mixing tray. There it is. That's weird. Alright, now that's good. Now we can get started with everything else. I need the balsamic. Oh, this is rough. And uh, having to order this guy around too? Do you need my help for anything? Yes. How do I give you orders? Give orders. Okay. I can't tell him to do this stuff. Um no cucumber. Problem. Go slice a cucumber. He could just do like really basic stuff right now. Just preparing stuff. Alright, let me get this stuff out of here. And I need a basil leaf. Let me stir this. I need to get that fish going. I need butter and that orange stuff for the fish. Alright, put that down. Orange, butter. I guess that's oil. Yeah, olive oil. I need fish. I thought he got me a fish. That's the fish I made. Where's the fish that I told him to cut? Oh, it's right there on the table. Um, nope, that's not it. But I do need I a need stir. A challenge. Hold on, dude. You can barely do anything. All right. Okay, we're gonna get it, but this is uh, interesting. A lot of new functions that you have to learn on the fly. Drop the butter. Okay, turn up the heat. Let's get done faster. Uh, while that's going, uh, I have to wait till that's done. I can't make my salad yet. All right, let me put this right here for now. Salt. On. Just hold on. Can I take one? There we go. Alright. We got it, just barely though. That was tough. Tough first table. Okay, and then next...
and then serve. All right, you. Can't talk to him right now. That looks delicious, chef. I know. Can I even do anything with this now? I don't think I can do anything with it. Oh, I can put it in there. Oh yeah, okay, it's done. Oh, maybe I don't need it on the mixing. Maybe I can just put it to the side then. Give orders. Um, go ahead and make me some stuff just to do something. Okay. So you're not useless. Right away. You can learn something. Oh, nice knife skills. We got a three-person table now. Let's put the cucumber away. I'm gonna have him make this stuff. Order, Kasim. Leave it to me. There you go. I can give him up to three tasks. Go for it. Okay, another salad. I need a balsamic sauce again. It's gonna take a second. Boom, boom. Let's get it going. Other than that, I just need two soups. After you get done with that, I'm gonna have him do another cucumber. Let me stir. Okay, let me back up. So I'm gonna grab the tomato and the basil. All right, give me another cucumber. Sure thing. There we go. Now we're starting to get command of the kitchen. Yeah, the soup's gonna be super easy. I didn't realize how easy it was because there's a lot of steps to prep it, but once it's prepped, you just grab it. Put some cucumbers in, and it's good to go. I got stir. I don't want to burn. Good job, Kasim. I'll take the cucumbers. Thank you. Alright, another stir. I could serve the soup now, but I'd rather serve everything at once. I don't know if it matters. I don't have anything to do. Nope, you sure don't. Alright, here we go. Alright, how much seasoning? A lot of salt. Not enough salt. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I need a basil leaf. Cool. All right. Dish number one. Looking pretty good. Dish number two. I'm available if you need anything. All right, and dish number three. All right, let's serve. All right, Kasim, you did good work today. Go ahead and make some orange okay. carrot juice. Carrot juice is actually harder to make because you have to season it right and everything, so... Oh, you get your own blender? What? It's for services like this one that we open the restaurant. 
All right, not too bad once we got the hang of everything. 85, max, max score, max money. Level six already. We're getting there. If you want a great meal, look no further. The daily special was so good. I hope it's always on the menu. Challenge completed. We got more regulars. Service finished. You can learn a new recipe. Alright, we did his challenge here. So we got 50 more dollars and a gold coupon. That's awesome. I like doing the challenges inadvertently, like without having to actually go for them. Just like, oh yeah, you did this thing. Nice. Here's a little bonus reward. Uh, is there anything else I need? I don't think so. Let me look at this new recipe. So we can make this French cuisine. And we can also do this right here. Two warming soup recipes for cold winters. Let's learn that. You have unlocked the recipe for fireside soups. That's interesting. Huh. Next would be the lemon marinated beef carpaccio. Okay, next day. Closed. Okay, I'm curious about Kasim's level. I wonder if he got any experience and how much experience. He's about halfway. Make progress in this character story to unlock the next levels. He's getting there. Oh, we got a new challenge now that we completed that last one. Make no mistakes. Cook seven dishes that earn a minimum grade of A. Buy 14 products from the speed market. I don't want to do that. Unlock the recipe Sol Minaire cooked in a whipped lemon butter and green beans. Make Sol Minaire with Kasim's help. Ask Kasim to make five filet of sole, three fennel silver slivers, and three bell red bell peppers. Okay. What well, if I just want to do what I want to do? Alright, menu. He's an expert at fish, but. Oh, I would like to do like an Italian dishes. This gives you 60. Jeez. 84 for the veal. Alright. I know I just got a new recipe for the onion soup. Ooh, I can upgrade the the salad. How do I upgrade it? Wait, recipe? It says upgrade. Um, show details? You can't upgrade this recipe at the moment. Oh, well why'd you tell me I could? So we got autumn soup, pasta with Italian cheese, and an onion soup. We could just be a soupy restaurant. <laughs> I could name the I could name the restaurant Soupy Soupy Easy and just be a soup restaurant. Alright, uh let's get ordering. What do you need for the daily service? They want me to order order stuff from supermarket, but see 25%. Minus 25% if over 5 units. It's not that much of a discount though, I don't care. I'd rather have better products. But I guess maybe we should? My responsibility is up on that. Here my responsibility goes down. I don't want that. Okay, 3, 1, and 3. Hey. I'll have your order soon. Motivated team. Alright, so we're doing the veal, the salad, and the soup. We 
We can have more menu items too. You can have up to five, I believe. Five or six. You gotta be a madman. Not much else to do while waiting. I would like to decorate at some point. Character structure. Level 8 is when we start getting floors and walls. So we still got some time. Okay, food's here. It's Max. I just put your order in the storeroom. I got it. I got it. Thank you. Good. Nice. Alright, stock up the shells. Okay, so let me get started with this soup. Do I not have it pinned? Let me pin it. This one's tough to remember. I have to do it a couple times to actually get it down. Oh, you know what? I can get the green beans. Well, I'm not doing green beans. I'm doing veal. Okay, never mind. Let me pin the veal, too. I've only made it one time, so I don't remember it too well. I know the salad was the hardest part of the veal. The veal itself was easy. Uh, seasonings. There we go. Alright, orange. Thank you. And then carrot. And let's season it. I need a lot of salt and basil. So here's a little bit of basil. And here is a lot of salt. One more salt. Okay. Good. Okay, and not the mixing table. What am I doing? Um, did that, did that. Oh, the tray, that's right. Mixing table, but with the tray. And put it together. leaves on there. Now I could take this and put it anywhere and it's going to work without being on the mixing table side. That's it. Uh, next is the veal. Let's, let's work on that. So first off I need to make the Parmesan breadcrumbs. So let me get my Parmesan cheese right here. Parmesan and bread. Oh, only one. And I'm gonna need lemon and tomatoes. I'm going to have to chop those up and dice them. Oh, that's okay. That could be for the salad. I got to dice them for the veal, though, for the salad. That's still going. Why does it keep going back? Alright, blender. And let's season. Dried oregano, a lot of it. Perfect. Good. After that's done, I need to make the vinaigrette. So I need the orange, the red, and the yellow. Orange, 
orange, red, I yellow. A little oh. technique for this job. Did you? Okay, put them there. Go and whisk. Oh, I need the egg too, I gotta beat the egg. Let me get my egg. Probably need a flower. Anything else? Lettuce? Perfect. Okay, let me beat the egg. Good. Alright, um, soups. Let me put you in the fridge. Uh, let me put my mozzarella, my tomatoes. Okay, now I made my vinaigrette. I cut my veal already. Got my egg, and now I'm gonna put all that together. Oh wait, a parmesan. There it is. Red crumbs. We make a good team. It's great that I can count on you. Thank you. All right, we just gotta dunk it in a little bit of everything. second let me refresh there we go sorry just gonna refresh stream for a second there we go all right now that i got the veal breaded i did the leaves i did that now well, we can make the salad and that Good. Okay, I'm gonna put the salad in here. I have another salad here, but I don't have another fridge. How much money do I got? Can I buy another fridge? Let's see, having two fridges would be awesome. How much money? Oh man, it's 300 and I got 277. Dang. That sucks. One of these salads have to go. One of my inventory won't be able to come with me, but that's okay. Maybe two of them will be fine. Um, other than that, I think we're good. We're not making the green beans anymore. And I got my soup. And I got my mozzarella and my tomatoes. The only thing I have to make is the basil. I don't think there's anything else. Hey. Uh, one thing I can get him to do is prepare extras. If I wanted to, I could wait around while he does that because that'll give us a little bit of extra money. I don't think I necessarily want to wait. I think we're good to open. Let's give it a shot. This is be our uh, Italian day. We've gone fully Italian. Well, I guess the soup isn't. No, well, I think the soup is. I know the salad is. I know the veal is. I'm pretty sure the soup is. Maybe not. We're gonna have to see. Before I open up, let me make sure. Oh, he made four. Oh, he can make them while you're fast forwarding time. That's nice. Uh, soup. Yeah, the soup's not. Okay. Dang. Almost all. All but the soup. And go. Confirm. I'm available if you need anything. Okay, we are ready. The only thing I need to go ahead and do is get my spices and start that, start that balsamic. 
the vinegar. That's the only thing that's going to take a little bit of time. Wrong one. Everything else we should be pretty much good on. All right, let me order Kasim to make some more veal. Oh, beat an egg. Oh, that's so nice. I don't have to beat no eggs. Sure thing. On it. Leave it to me. I guess I don't need those, but that's okay. Go no for it. Problem. You're doing Greek great, Kasim. Look at him beating that egg. The egg is still there though. Kasim, what are you doing in the bowl? Oh, why? We got the salad and we got the soup. Soup and salad. As well name this place Olive Garden. One soup. That means I need a basil leaf. Today I think it's going to be super easy. The biggest thing we have is the veal, but it's not hard to cook as long as I remember to flip it. The soup is done, the salad is pretty much done. Especially once we get the vinegar. One last stir. Okay, let's put it all together. We gotta remember to season this after we put the tomatoes and mozzarella down. Oh, season. Needs salt, just one sprinkle of salt will be fine. There you go. Do we even need a fryer now? Just for the veal. And the sauce, I guess, the balsamic. I need a challenge. Oh, I need a cucumber. How about that? I guess I'll do it. I'm gonna be faster with it. Cut. Should have told him to do a cucumber. All right, that's it. That's all the food that they want. All right. Could have did it a little bit faster if I got him to do a cucumber. I wasn't thinking. Alright, and next. Mmm. First two orders of the night are out. I don't know what to work on. All right, let me get this going again with another balsamic. Kasim, if you want to work on something, why don't you make some Bite. cucumbers, mozzarella, and tomato to slices? Me. That'd be good. And I'll make the vinegar. Another customer came in. Yeah, now we're a team, getting stuff done. So we got two salads, and two soup, and one veal. Let me stir. Back up. Okay. Oh, they're pushing their chairs. How nice. About to have another order up. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Take these cucumbers. I'm going to take this mozzarella. He's almost done with those tomatoes. I'm almost done with my vinegar. 
That'll be the salad. And we already got the soup. Do you need my help for anything? Let me get an order of soup. Let me get my veal. Uh, I need your... There we go. One more stir. Very good. Okay. Let's go ahead and put it down. And how much salt? A lot of salt. Not enough salt. There we go. Perfect. Drizzle. Alright, that's done. The soup is done. I got my basil leaf right there. Now all I gotta do is the veal. Which I have... I, don't I have my salad. Salad's ready. All I gotta do is cook the veal. So in order to cook it... Is there anything special? I have to heat the pan ahead of time. Nope. Wrong thing. Okay, heat the pan ahead of time. And other than that, it says here, uh, with a hot pan, remember to flip and season. And that's it. Do I have lemons? Oh. Kasim, can you make some lemons for me? Okay. Okay, the pan is hot, so let's go ahead and... Oh, I need the orange, the oil. All right. Let's go ahead and season. A lot of salt. Perfect. Get ready to flip. I guess we got a little bit of time. Thank you. Okay, flip. Great. All right. Should have time to get back to it. Feel free to get me work I hope. On something. I can help. I know, Kasim, you're doing great. There we go. All right. Oh, lemons. I was wondering what else I was missing. There's the veal and the salad on the side. Looking nice. Look at those rose tomatoes. And last is the soup. We didn't make it in time for the first bar, but we made it for the second one. Looks good. What task can I help you with? That's it. I wonder if we'll ever get more than two tables. You gotta gotta have more than two tables and more than I know we could have more than Kasim, so it makes sense that we could be able to. Nice. Challenge completed. Probably serving the five Italian dishes. 85, $3 tips. Your customers were delighted with the food. Congratulations. Almost level seven. Today's special should be every day special. A wonderful experience every time. Congrats to the chef and the whole team. Excellent prepared, good quality ingredients. See, if I would have went with the other place, I wouldn't have gotten the good quality ingredients, even though it was 25% cheaper. All right, good job, Yassim. Or Kasim, we did it. Can I check my computer to see his level now? I wonder. Level two, all right. 
Nice, he leveled up too. That's awesome. Everybody's cleaning up. Alright, I think we'll go ahead and end it on that note. We made it to day eight now, and we've got a good thing going. Uh, we have a really easy menu. That was super simple at the end there. Soup was ready, salad was ready. Uh, everything was pretty much ready. All I had to do was cook the veal and make the balsamic sauce, which wasn't too difficult. And yeah, so far we've pretty much gotten full, like as, as good score as you can. There was one time we had a table four and that was a little bit rough. But other than that, we've gotten all our points every single time, so we're doing really well. Hope you guys enjoyed this look at Chef's Life, a restaurant simulator part one. Probably come back to this and play some more, but hope you enjoyed it. I know I have. If you have already enjoyed it and you haven't already liked the video, go ahead and do that. Hit that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel. Check out the Twitter and Discord down in the description, and I'll see you guys next time.